Hello, my name is Pamela Powers Hanley. I'm the social media editor for the American Journal of Medicine. I'm here today with Dr. Joseph Albert and we're going to talk about a new study that looks at women with metabolic syndrome and how that affects their sex lives. Dr. Albert, what can you tell us about this? This is a, a very interesting study. We've published uh, uh, material from uh, this group before, and they have published a number of articles. Um, it's run by the Family and Community Medicine people and the Epidemiology Department at the University of California, uh, San Diego. Professor Barrett Connor has been the main force behind this. They have a large number of individuals that they are following regularly, just like the Framingham study does uh, in, in Massachusetts. This one is done at the Rancho Bernardo subdivision north of San Diego. It's a middle and upper middle class neighborhood, and they're following a whole bunch of risk factors and lifestyle issues. Um, this particular article is about uh, women with metabolic syndrome. So what's metabolic syndrome? That's the folks who are pre-diabetic or verging into diabetes, often obese, often with high inflammatory markers, high cholesterol, uh, borderline or elevated blood pressure. In other words, folks that we can already tell are very high risk for a heart attack or a stroke down the road. Well, it turns out that the metabolic syndrome is often asymptomatic, but when they uh, examine more closely the lifestyle of these individuals, they discover that the sexual desire and also satisfaction uh, in women is markedly decreased when they have metabolic syndrome. So already there are signs that metabolic syndrome is interfering with their, with their normal uh, satisfying life. It isn't just a question of, hey, down the road you're going to be in trouble. You're already having some problems right now. So how could uh, physicians help these women? What advice could they give them? Well, um, of course, when we identify people with a metabolic syndrome, we tell them about the problems down the road. But now I think we can also start to tell them, you know, this is also interfering with your current lifestyle and maybe question them a little more. Um, there has been a tendency for doctors not to want to talk to patients about, um, about their uh, sexual matters. These days it's pretty important, um, you know, not only, you know, from, from understanding how satisfying their life is, but also understanding, you know, uh, particularly in younger individuals, uh, are they practicing safe sex? There's a lot of nasty uh, diseases that one can acquire um, if one's not practicing safe sex. Um, so here's yet one more reason to ask a little bit about the sex life um, of, of the patient. Um, and again, um, you know, I always offer, particularly, um, you know, my male patients, ask them, do they need, do they want one of the prescriptions, you know, for erectile dysfunction? But in the women now, I think it's also important to ask because clearly helping them with the metabolic syndrome may even improve the quality of their current lifestyle, not just their risk factor down the road. Thanks for watching the video today. Check out our YouTube channel. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and we have a blog.